Hello, that some warmer weather is on the way, a return of summer perhaps, especially early next week. But before then, plenty to get through during the weekend, especially with some wet weather in western Scotland. We do have a Met Office yellow weather warning in force. That rain really setting in on Saturday night and lasting for most of Sunday. Elsewhere, though, much of the weekend will be dry across the UK with some sunshine coming through at times. And so, although Saturday will be temperatures around average, it should be getting a bit warmer by Sunday. But as I said, the real warmth really kicks in early next week. Let's take a look at the picture through Friday night because there's a weather front that's weakening as it pushes southwards, but bringing some wet weather over northwest England, parts of Wales during Friday evening, turning a bit damp perhaps over the Midlands, maybe parts of Devon and Cornwall by the end of the night. Further north, it's turning clearer, but there's lots of heavy showers packing into western Scotland where it stays blustery. It will be a fresh start to the weekend across Scotland and Northern Ireland as well. Single figure temperatures in towns and cities here. But for England and Wales, a much, much milder night compared to uh, Thursday night into Friday morning. So it won't be as cold on Saturday morning, but there will be a fair bit of cloud around across England and Wales. Only early on, the odd little bit of rain here and there, but that should be fizzling out and the cloud will tend to break up. So for many across England and Wales, Saturday's a dry, fine day with some sunshine. There will be more showers, though, a few for western parts of Northern Ireland, plenty for western Scotland, and at times here it will still be very gusty indeed. Elsewhere, though, with a bit of sunshine, feeling quite pleasant, I suspect, over Wales and Midlands, northeast England, temperatures getting into the high teens or low 20s, maybe 22 if you see some sunny spells across the uh, southeast. But a, a fresher feel with those gusty winds and frequent showers in western Scotland. Eastern Scotland, though, you could see temperatures 18 degrees here. Now behind me you'll notice there's a large area of rain and uh, not just wet but also increasingly windy. As this weather system comes in after a lot of heavy rain recently in western Scotland well we could see some problems because it just lasts through Saturday night and for most of Sunday. Brighter colours there, some heavy rain. Uh, some uncertainty about how far south and how far north it sits but certainly over the highlands and the western isles of Scotland that rain really building up through Sunday. Widely 25 to 50 millimetres of rain and over the hills 100, 150 millimetres of rain, maybe 180 millimetres of rain. That could cause some local flooding, certainly the potential for travel disruption. May turn a bit drier over uh, the Glasgow area and certainly all points further south, generally having a fine day on Sunday. Yes, there'll be a fair bit of cloud around in western parts, but some good spells of sunshine for most and um, temperatures starting to creep up as well. Notice the winds starting to come up more from the south, so wafting up some warmer air. 25 is possible across the southeast if we see lengthy spells of sunshine and more widely into the high teens or low 20s. Obviously, it's going to be cooler with that persistent rain in the northwest. That's from a set of weather fronts that, as I say, set in on Saturday night and then did just wriggle backwards and keep on coming, uh, bringing that wet weather through Saturday night and for most of Sunday. But um, they will finally start to push northwards on Sunday afternoon and overnight, which allows high pressure to dominate. And that's why we're seeing those southerly winds initially wafting up some warmth on on Sunday, but really quite noticeable that warmth by the time we get to Monday and probably lasting into Tuesday as well, with temperatures set in some parts to get into the high 20s, close to 30 degrees possibly on Tuesday. So plenty going on. Make sure you stay up to date with the very latest. Those Met Office weather warnings are available on our app, on our website, and of course we'll have the very latest if you follow us on social media.